Sorry, I'm still caught up in what's just gone on, but another fabulous match to come here on court one. It's the women's singles as Pi Hong Yang, the lady on her comeback after hurting her knee, takes on the number two seed, Wang Yi Han. The number one seed, by the way, has been knocked out in the women's singles. Wang Shizian knocked out by Cheng Xiao Jie. So uh, a great opportunity, really, you think, for one of these players. Of course, for Pi Hong Yang, it's uh, still a game at a time. For Wang Yi Han, well, a chance for her first world title. But first of all, let me just get a, a word from Jill Clark on, on, on what we've seen, what you've just seen in that mixed doubles that's just gone. Absolutely fabulous. Uh, as uh, Morton Frost was saying, you know, you have to rise to the occasion. You've got to play above yourselves. And my goodness, how well they did do that. You know, I thought there was a little signs of nerves t towards the end of that second game. As you rightly said, that's understandable. But when it came to crunch time, they were good. They did the right things. They were looking to play the right shots, and that's vastly experienced. So Wang Yihan, 23-year-old uh, from Shanghai, was number one seed in Paris a year ago, but she lost in the third round to Erika Hirose. And she's up against Pi Hong Yang here. No longer forgotten about, is she? Returning from injury, uh, had said ahead of these championships, even though uh, she won the, uh, or she got to the final, I should say, of the Canada Open, that they'd come too early for her. Well, here she is in a quarter final. Yes, it's lovely to see her back on court. She's a very graceful player, uh, beautiful movement. But of course, if you have struggled with injury and your movement is hampered, if that's one of your real assets as a player, it does have a dramatic effect. So, you know, uh, it'll be interesting to see how she deals with this. But uh, in general terms, it's just great to see her back. Yeah, she's got strapping on both knees, but it's her left knee is the one she had operated on. She was out for six months. Jutta Rutt in the umpire's chair again. And it's Eric Desroches of Canada who is the service judge. Yeah, as always, there are always going to be upsets along the way, but what did you make of the upset? in the uh, women's singles earlier on today with the number one seed once she's young being disposed of yes uh, in all honesty Cheng Chao Xie absolutely deserved to win I've managed to keep a, a little eye on that one and uh, I thought the tiny player I don't think she's as tall as the net you know she's she, five foot two. Oh well she is as tall as the net and how tall's the net five foot in the middle right. five foot one at the post okay so just about yeah but she was great I mean her tactical awareness uh, movement around the court was just delightful but we know that uh, there's one European in the semi-finals because Juliana Schenk has beaten Tina Bau in uh, the top half of the draw The players are almost ready to get underway here for this women's singles quarterfinals. Well, they have met three times before, one with a 2-1 advantage, but they haven't met since October 2009. Pihong Yang's win came in Switzerland three years ago. She has been up to, you know, Four in the world, I think, is her highest ranking. She was sixth or seventh in the world rankings before, obviously, injury stopped her from playing. Right now, she has a world ranking of 23. Yeah, that's not realistic at all. I mean, she's a much, much better Ladies player than gentlemen. that. It's because of the injury oh problem. Right. She's been out of the Wang world tour. Yian, China. And on my left, Bi Hong Yun, France. Well. Well, after that British bonanza, is it time for Ale Le Bleu in uh, this women's singles match? Yeah, 
that's nice. Just to emphasize Pi Hong Yang's so unrealistic world one, ranking at the moment. Love. Two years ago, she was bronze medalist at the World Championships. And this is her sixth World Championships and the sixth consecutive time that she's reached at least the quarterfinal. Yeah, it's a stat that really shows the quality of her. The top four seats here, all, all from China. Two of them now, though, have been knocked out, haven't they? Just wide. So it's Orwell, one all. Wang Yihan currently second in the world, but she has been number one for a fair while. In 2009, she, she was winning every title going. She won seven titles. She was uh, heralded as the future of the Chinese game. Slipped back a little bit last year, but she's kind of reasserted herself too, hasn't she, this year? Well, she was told by the boss she had to. I mean, it was just extraordinary, world number one. And because she lost, uh, well, it, I don't think it was just one result, but uh, she lost in the final of the Uber Cup, the women's team competition, at so the number one singles one, position two, to the one. number one Korean. And Lee Yongbo, the head coach, dropped her from the Asian Games. There was four singles players selected for the Asian Games. She's number one in the world and doesn't <laughs> even get selected for the Chinese team. And Lee Yongbo said, you've got to prove yourself again. So what does she do? She's played eight tournaments since then. She's been in six five finals and she's won five titles. That's what I call a good response. So yeah, but whether that satisfied Lee Yongbo, oh. I don't know. Well, yeah, quite. Given out, I think just yeah. about a right call. Without well, that time from Pi Hong Yang. So it's our three, two. Born in Chongqing in Sichuan province. Pi Hong Yang moved to Europe in 2000, actually started in Denmark and then a couple of years later started representing France. Yeah, for those who are not used to watching badminton, Joe, it might seem strange that someone can just come and step from Sichuan province and then, you know, go to Denmark or France and decide what country they want to represent. Well, China didn't want her. Apparently, she was too small to be any good at badminton. <laughs> there was a, a definite policy by the Chinese coaching staff that they wanted tall, elegant players. They've changed that philosophy now. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? That's a lovely it. disguise drop. She might not so be tall, but that was elegant. <laughs> yes. And I, I think also, you know, uh, the fact that, you know, uh, the modern world, lots of people move countries. True. And um, I think it's, uh, it's good that she's been in Europe. She's helped progress European badminton players because other women's singles players from Europe have so had to play against her. Five, so three. the whole level of European badminton has been lifted by a couple of Chinese players that came over. One represented Germany and Pi Hong Yang in France. Yeah, the, uh, I mean, you're talking about Germany and you see Juliana Schenk reach the semi-finals in the women's singles here today as well. She done her no harm. Six. I just think the fact that Wang Shiziana uh, has departed today, I mean, Wang Yihan now must look at that and think, this is a great opportunity here for me to take my first world title. I don't think she'll be looking that far. Drop shot again from Pi Hong Yang. So it's Just over. to expand my Four, point there a little six. bit, I think Wang Yihan has has learned so much from being dropped from the Chinese team and told that you know she had to prove herself again. You know the last World Championship she was the number one seed, and as you say, losing to Hiroshi in the third round. It's a couple of times when 
she has been expected to at least be in the final when she was world number one. So there's big pressures that go with that status, and and I think that she's matured now. I was so watching her very, very closely seven, in the far race, four. the last two Super Series events, and she lost in Singapore, and she, for the rest of the tournament, was sitting directly behind my commentary position. She'd got her own video camera. She was making her own notes, watching all the other top players, the players that had beaten her, and was taking personal so responsibility five, for the fact seven. that she wanted to improve and it, she wasn't relying on coaching staff from her own country. She was looking at, that's plum on the line, isn't that brilliant? You know, and I think that uh, she won't be taking anything for granted anymore. Well, I think that gives you an idea of the attention to detail that she gives her game. Judged by B, wasn't it? Yeah. Yep, goes out. Wasn't in England for the All England Championships. Uh, one missed that with injury. Yeah, you can see she's too got strapping on her knee, her right knee. She uh, went to three games with uh, Bae Young Ju, the eighth seed, uh, the Bae Young Han. 21-15, she won in the final game. And of course, having missed so much Bamberton in the last year, she admits that you know that kind of game takes its toll on her. Interesting to see if she can stay as sprightly as she has at the start of this match throughout. Nine, seven. Yeah, she reaches up, she really uses her height well, does Wang Yi Han. Placement, isn't it? It's a 10 7 advantage now. It's going wide. And at that 11 7. 11 7 interval. Yeah, I really like Wang Yi Han's style of play. She's adventurous, likes to go for angles, go for her shots. Yeah, she seems very calm as well. comeback herself yesterday and it was a really good comeback one hand looked a little bit in danger to the Thai youngster Ratchanok she uh, lost the first set 21 13 but the fact that she came back and won that 21 12 21 9 suggests there wasn't very much wrong with her game is the reigning world junior champion and you're absolutely right uh, Wang Yi Han did have to battle hard in that 11-7 play
Ed. That's a nice advantage now, isn't it, in this uh, opening game for the number two seed. Just missed the line that Service time. Service over. Nine thirteen. Service over. Yeah, one of the most difficult movements for Pi Hong Yan on her left leg is to jump to what we call that round the head position deep into her backhand corner because she's got to land on the left leg it's going well wide yeah she looks a little demoralized already doesn't she Getting yourself a talking to there Yeah, the talking to work, didn't it? Such disguise on her overhead shots, Pi Hong Yan. The cry of Hong Yan going up. Smash, clever play from Wang Yi Han. Oh, that was a real opportunity for Pi Hong Yan. Seventeen, ten. She doesn't win every Service point here, uh, Wang Yihan, but 17. she always looks like she's going to get to the shuttle, doesn't she? She always seems to be in the right position. She's a very, very good athlete. steepness of that smash you know the early stages of that rally I thought Wang Yihan was under pressure and all of a sudden look at this just clips the racket head over the top of the shuttle bringing it down so steeply no real follow-through on the shot yeah there's still 205 220 the uh, faster smash from uh, any player in the women's section this week that was Wang Xia Li 220. Yeah, yes, that's nice. So it's all to our 13. Needs more of that, doesn't she, Pete? Hmm. 
<laughs> what a defensive shot. So is Laura. 19. Drove that Four. back across court. That is superb. No wonder the coaches are happy. wide with that final 14, shot but 19. Wang Yihan really trying to pressurize deep in Pi Hong Yang's backhand corner knows that that movement will be very difficult for Pi. Yes, and exploiting a player's weakness isn't it? Harsh on Pi but given time I'm sure she'll get back to 100% fitness. Thirty two now though. Oh, that was going wide. Yeah, outmaneuvered. Lovely play from Army Hunt. So is all Turns up those game points. played in that first game. It looks like she could be getting uh, world number one status back pretty soon, doesn't she? Very comprehensive display there in just 18 minutes, taking that opening game 21-14. Yeah, difficult again to see the player who's trailing here. I don't know how they breach what looks to be a a game that looks so solid, it was the same for for many of the games we've seen. I suppose the only time that we've seen any hint of a, a player likely to cause some trouble was when Shosazaki played Lin Dan. So Fabrice Vallée. What was he uh, saying there, Jill? Could you pick up any of that? I know you speak a little bit of French. Yes, I think he's he's wanting more angled shots rather than the power play when she is going for the attack. Yeah. Plenty of uh, discussion here for Pi Hong Yang. Well, she's played badly in that first uh, game, but and in some respect, it's 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 been mission achieved for her to reach the quarterfinals, given what the last years brought. Yes, I mean prior to the tournament, if uh, you'd said would you take a quarterfinal, she would have been uh, she would have grabbed it. But you know, once you're in the quarterfinal, you of course have the belief, you know, that you could get through to the semi-final and beyond. 
but Fabrice Vallée, I'm sure, uh, telling Pi Hong Yan that Second she really game. had to start Level being play. more positive on her play. She's doing an awful lot of reacting. And I think he was saying that when she was attacking, she's got to use the angle. It's no good just using the power because Wang Yi-Han just feeds off that. Yeah, that's nice. And again, doing exactly what coach Fabrice was saying. Proactive, especially at the net. Yeah, good. Yeah, she certainly is being more positive, isn't she? Yeah, there's the angle one. That's what set up the rally. interesting in the timeout between the first and second game because France have also got a, a Chinese coach and obviously Fabrice was talking to Pi Hong Yan in French and then the Chinese coach was talking to her in, in Mandarin. Also speaks English fluently Pi Hong Yan. It's a stark contrast in atmosphere now, isn't it, though, to, to the match before. The crowd were really buzzing, and this game yet to really capture them. Maybe a few more shots like that from Pi Hong Yang, and maybe the uh, electrically charged again. Yeah, w what I'm liking about this is Pi Hong Yang is implementing the tactics that her coach said, you know, keep using these steep angles. in the rally instead of reacting to her opponent well there's a little bit of a dispute here between the two players as to whether the shuttle should be changed or not yeah, there's a lot of this going on isn't there well, the umpire siding with Pi Hong Yan and deciding the shuttle's absolutely fine yeah it's all psychological games Very different feel to this match in the second game, isn't it? Again, she's asking her to change the shadow. But Bihong uh, Yang's keeping hold of it. in a row, but it's an encouraging Six. spell nonetheless for Pete. Oh, no. 
she's able to change the shuffle. isn't it from Pi Hong Yan that's that exemplary performance in the first game from Wang certainly got the upper hand right now Slicing across the feathers. Bringing it down across court. Oh, and again. That is magnificent. Six, seven. Hong Yan moves the full diagonal of the court. And Hong Hong Yan not quick enough to get there in time. Oh, yes. So is Ed Came from six. above the shuttle, so looking as if she was going to do a flat push and then just checking the shot at the last moment. Good disguise. Hong Yan wants to get involved Eight. in these flat, fast exchanges. the short lift good net shot yeah the lift was only half caught and it got what it deserved Coming, could you really in the first game? Some lovely touches around the net and then pouncing on the winner. No, I agree, but I, I think that Pi Hong Yan has completely changed her tactics and, and is getting the reward for doing so. Let, 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 let. Well, Pi Hong Yan saying, Look, my opponent was ready. Look, she does look right ready. Yeah. Well, this has also sadly become a feature of World Badminton now. Players looking as if they're ready and then saying, no, they're not, and, and let being played. Because the, the umpire could have said, no, that's, that, that's the point done. Yeah. Well, she won the point in any case. 11-7, the interval lead here. As Pi Hong Yang looks to try and level this match up at one set apiece. Well, the 
tactics that were employed after the first game. I'm sure the tactics that uh, Fabrice Vallée and those in the French camp want to carry on in the second half here. Rally. Well, oh, fabulous angle. Some great touches. Yeah, oh, magnificent. And psychologically, that rally was so important. Yeah, we'll see where the match goes from okay, here. Yeah. yeah. Difference between being 13-8 ahead back to 9-12. Played a number of very, very good winners across court from deep in her forehand corner as Wang Yi Han. Once again, dispute about the shuttle. <laughs> and she's right back in here, isn't she? And again. At what point are they allowed to change? Just if there's any damage at all to it? Yes. Um, if the shuttle uh, goes out of shape or if the feathers literally get ruffled and um, therefore, the shuttle will flow, uh, fly through the air a little bit slower. And therefore, the, uh, the players are allowed to change it. As long as both players agree, you can change the shuttle at any time. It's when they disagree that the umpire has to get involved. 
Uh, the clear there from Pi Hong Yan, woefully short. And all the hard work is undone. Yeah, from 12-7, it's 12-all, but as you said, that important rally at 12-8. Uh, looks to have had some significance. Now. Just when we thought we were going to have our uh, first match of the day on court one, that could be heading for three sets. This point is absolutely vital as far as Pi Hong Yan is concerned. She's got to stop this run of points. To do the right thing. Yeah, that is. She, she, she played some very good shots in that rally. A couple that she thought might prove to be winning ones, but. Been a timely run for Wang Yi Hunt. Seven points in a row for the world number two. Yi Hong Yang picks one up herself as it goes long. Yeah, that's nice for Mani Han. Should move the full diagonal of the court. Having been deep in a backhand corner, she came forward to the net and still had the control to just guide the shuttle. That's caught. As you see a player turn and play a backhand from deep in court, you know they're in trouble. Fifteen all. Fifteen all. being made to work then to get to this semi-final of these World Championships. Missed. Oh. Desperate. 16, 15. <laughs> no wonder she's celebrating it. She saw herself going 16 15 down here. Oh, brilliant. Three 
fabulous shots in a row. 17, yeah, comprehensively outmaneuvering Pi Hong Yan. That's the one that did the damage. Stretcher one way, then the other, and then the other. Angle on the smash from Pi Hong Yan, and therefore a relatively simple defensive block from Wang Yi Han. Yeah, just stepped into it. I know you were watching Wang Xin earlier win her victory against Saina. Obviously, these two look like they're going to meet each other then in the semi finals or Chinese affair. Who would you say would be favourite? Very, very difficult. What's of a coin? Yeah. Wouldn't like to hazard it a guess. Mm. They're both playing very well. Oh, yes, super. It must be so demoralizing, Pi Hong Yang making that terrific run at what looked like a, a run that could make it one apiece. But. Fabulous badminton from Wang Yi Han here. Leon. Two points then for a place in the semi finals. Well, that's the sort of tactic that brought her so much success early on in this second game. Taking the initiative, the drop shot, the angles. <laughs> Match points are brought up with that smash from Wang Yihan. 20, Met Park 16. where she's so strong, moving backwards in court and still thundering down a smash. Ah! So it will be an all Chinese affair on one side of the draws in the semi-finals. Wang Yihan ending the run of Pi Yang here. That's one by Wang Yihan. 21-14, 21 16. The uh, French player beaten in the quarterfinals for the second year running. So it's uh, Wang Xin next in the semi finals for Wang Yi Han. Two Chinese players will play for the right to get in that final. 21 14, 21 16. Super display. So we know now who will be the final four in the women's singles. There's been a few upsets in the draw, but not on this side, of course, with Wang Xin taking on Wang Yi Han. In the other side, it will be Cheng Xiao Jie, who knocked out Wang Shizian, the world number one, and Juliana Schenk, who beat Tina Baum in a match just earlier on on court two. So. Maybe a little surprise on the other side of the draw, but not on this side. Wang Yihan comfortably through against Pi Hong Yang. <laughs>